Hey everyone, Jokers here, welcome back to Budokai 3. Now last time, we had a revisit to Goku's story mode. Hey Chi Chi, I'm home! Go yeah. Oh yeah, we already huh? saw this. At least once. Anyway. I did a practice run to figure something out, and at the very last second, I discovered something. Yeah, if we actually have to do this twice more. Why did it off screen? Because it was merely just finding uh, two item points on the map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show them to you. As well as another scene I found on the way to fighting um, Fat Boo with regular Goku. So then I'll see you after that. Your timing couldn't be more perfect. Here, take this. If the Dragon Radar gets destroyed, I won't be able to make another one anytime soon, so be gentle with it. <laughs> thanks, Bulma. You should get up to the lookout while you can. You'll be safe there. Okay. By the way, how are Vegeta and Trunks? Are they hiding out at the lookout too? Goten and Trunks are fine, but I'm sorry. Vegeta and Gohan were defeated by Majin Buu. What? Oh, Vegeta! It, it can't be true! Oh! No! I know it's hard. We don't have time for tears. Not here. We have to go now. Oh, hey, Goku. I heard that you're making Goten enter the World Martial Arts Tournament. He wouldn't stop complaining about it. He said he even had to cancel a date. <laughs> so your son has the same slack attitude as mine, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, it's easy to get soft in times of peace. This should be interesting. I think I will enter. And you will too, Trunks. Or else I'm cutting your allowance. What? What? What is this place? I don't know why, but my body hurts. What's going on here? Gas! My head is throbbing! It feels like it's gonna split in two! Uh, what's happening to me? I, I can't stop it! I'm losing my mind! I can feel it! What is this? I don't understand it. Why did my body transform? And where did I get this incredible power? Oh well, I'll just have to figure it out later. I've got to keep moving. You! I we're back in fighting Broly again. So I like the scene of Bulma. Just because we actually got to see the aftermath of Majin Vegeta's fight with Boo. And I love that scene with Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. I think it's supposed to be like adult Trunks and GT. They just didn't really use them, so they had to model for future Trunks in there. Or not model, more like a sprite. Oh yeah, but this Broly's going to be no challenge at all. Yeah, and Goku's getting Super Saiyan 4 here is just... He just stumbled upon it. And just started feeling weird. That's it. <laughs> no big dramatic struggle for it. Uh, I guess I've heard views with... So yeah, we're not gonna do that though. We're actually gonna head to West City. Oh, well, she's not even talking here. 
That's right, and when that happens, we can't even use the Dragon Balls. I mean, the Dragon Raider. I mean, we can use it, but we can't find any Dragon Balls with it. Oh, that's just a random item. So many dragons fly out of the Dragon Balls. You've relied too heavily on the Dragon Balls. Now the evil dragons have come to pass their judgment upon the Earth. Whoa, what a terrible power. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to beat him, but I've got to try anyway. Yep, that's right. Omega Shenron from Dragon Ball GT is the true final boss of this game. Yeah, I completely skipped over the uh, fight with Gotenks because it's nothing special. We've seen it already. And it's a world tournament stage, which is awful to begin with. He's so outmatched that we don't even get to play the fight. <laughs> but Vegeta, thank you. You've come to help me? Hmm, so the reinforcements have arrived. Well, it doesn't matter how many losers show up, they're still losers! Kakarot, it pains me to say this, but we're never going to beat him like this. Yeah, you might be right. This Omega Shenron guy is still a little bit stronger than we are. Kakarot, we have to fuse. Huh? You heard me. I said we need to fuse. Now quit gawking at me and get ready. <laughs> this is too much. You never cease to surprise me. You're the best, Vegeta. You, John, how? And all right. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Basically the most powerful character in the series before we got the Dragon Ball Super. Uh, and what do you want? Who are you? Who am I? Ha, I'm the one who will destroy you. Let's not screw around, let's just use his strongest move right now. So he only has two moves. Look at him sparkle like he's a shiny Pokemon. Ow. Oh, I'm running out of time. There we go. I'm here. <laughs> wow. Was there even any Vegeta in his voice there? I only heard Goku. Yeah, let's boost health for once. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, impossible. I, I can't be defeated. I'm invincible. As long as you continue to overuse the Dragon Balls, I will always exist! Yeah, I know. Well, that was a bit of anticlimactic way of showcasing him. Though defeated, Goku could not forget the final words of Omega Shenron. Thus, he continued to train in order to protect the Earth without the Dragon Ball's aid. And now Omega Shaman is playable. Alright, this was pretty short, so 
Well, I think we have time to show off something else in Dragon Universe. So let's just skip by this and we'll take a look at it. Alright, we're starting a new story of Kid Gohan, and right from the start, we have a new mark or David from this train with Piccolo. And this is just Goku asking for help. Train for the vibe of the Saiyans. But there's a lot more we can do here. Kid Gohan is basically the easiest way to get money at this point in the game. I mean, there's 5,000 zenny here, and at the end of these islands, there's another one worth 12,000. That's 18 so far. Get that right here. That's 23,000. Then go all the way over here. Come on. Another 23. That's a big chunk of change. And here I, I, I discovered this. It's always a random ability for your Captain Ginyu or Raccoon. Though not the ultimate moves. And if you ever head over here, it's just how you get his Masenko. Oh, I'm gonna skip Novis because I've seen it so many times. Okay, I had a moment here, interruption, but yeah, that's the idea Ruby for ya. Right in the middle over here, I. Don't quite recall the exact location. It is a bit out of the way. I'm not going to go find it because it's. I generally find it to be less efficient, but it's, that's another 5,000. Now we can go to Grandma Gohan's house. So that has a ton right there. Oh! Yes. oh. There's a delay in Goku's voice. I just noticed a big fish on the background. That's a good addition. The kid going only has two moves he unlocks. I'm saying you an unlock potential. That is it. I'm not even bothering to unlock potential. I mean, you can just use the save and quit for Gohan, and just go back and keep getting all of that Zenny. You've come a long way. You're getting really strong. Really? Thanks, Dad. You think I can get as strong as you and Mr. Piccolo one day? Oh, you'll see how strong you get. Don't worry. Now the Saiyans are here. Oh, that's a cute little scene. Anyway, let's see how easy the sayings are now that we've had quite a bit of experience under our belt. Get going is still better just for beating people up close. But yeah, there was nothing special between when we played the story before. As far as the rest of the saying side is confirmed. Not confirmed, concerned. Oh, man. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wasn't even enough for a level up. Haha. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now we have the regular fights with Nap and Vegeta. There's nothing changed about them. You know what, I think I'm just going to skip right over to Niamic. Because there's absolutely nothing changed. Mm. Look, I'm just doing the same basic combo over and over. And just look how much is wrecking him. Alright, let's see how well we do against uh, Raccoon this time. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but let's see how well we do this with this Dragon Rush. Well, our attacks maxed up, so even that did over a thousand damage. A whole health bar just taken out. Ooh, he, he hit me good there. A little bit more challenging, but that's okay. Challenge ain't never a bad thing. And we ain't level enough from that. And we got a lot more than I thought I would. Now, here's where things are different. So one in the middle goes to fight Frieza like normal. But now, if we head all the way over here, we get something a little bit different. Bad power level coming our way. The Ginyu Force! Quick, hide, Gohan! Goku! <laughs> it's me! I thought you were one of those Ginyu clowns. Hey, buddy, uh, you feeling okay? Uh, you look a little strange. What's with the scouter? Do you really want to know? Krillin, that's not my dad. Dad? That's right. I'm Captain Ginyu, leader of the Ginyu Force. And we'll beat you just the same. And that's what I'm talking about. You don't scare me. Can't even use Goku's body right, Ginyu. Come on. Go on, sure beat his dad good. But that's not the only thing we unlock by taking this alternate route. What? I can't understand it. This body should have much more power than this. There's no way I'll let you win. Now get out of my dad right now. And that's the last we see of him. Now I'm turning into a frog. Because now Frieza has a visitor. And man, what's with these lack of uh, dialogue scenes and such? Frieza? No, something different. Death to all Saiyans. <laughs> it sounds almost robotic saying that. No, he's obviously a lot more stern and serious than Frieza ever was. Ooh. <laughs> You're going down, Kula. Just think, you never even got to fight him. You're his movie. What? I can't throw. Oh, I can. 
No monkey soup for you. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Gohan's help, the brothers Frieza and Cooler are defeated. Back on Earth. And we're done with Kid Gohan and Goku's stories for good. But don't worry. There's a lot more to show off and unlock, and we'll take care of that. And next time, we'll be taking out more Drag Universe. Till then, it's been Jargus Gaming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.